Hi, I'm Dr. Meredith Warner, an orthopedic surgeon, and I want to talk to you today about NMN, which is a precursor molecule or an NAD booster that will increase your levels of NAD, which is massively important for cellular health. So you want to increase your cellular levels of NAD by taking NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide because you want to allow more electron energy transfers in a more efficient manner, and then you want to have more sirtuin activation. By result of that, you want healthier mitochondria, you want better folded proteins, you want better DNA that doesn't have mutations and has been repaired. Uh, we are assaulted on a daily basis and our DNA is constantly being damaged and mutated. Our body has a way to repair it, but if it doesn't have the energy and the signaling molecules and the properly folded enzymes to repair the DNA, the good histones and things like that, then you can't repair it. And one of the keys to that process is NAD. So I take NMN now every morning um, and I've been feeling a lot better, but I'm really taking it for optimal health and longevity and try to keep my DNA. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, so I'm hit by radiation every time I operate. Um, there's a million ways you can have DNA damage. So NMN is one way to help your body repair that damage and also to give you more energy. So less fatigue, you're better able to ha ha um, handle toxins, you're better, better able to handle exogenous or outside assaults. So ionizing radiation, gamma radiation, pollution, bad water, heavy metal, you know, lead in the water or whatever. All of that damages intracellular functionality and molecules, but it's all fixable, but you have to have the energetics for it and the signaling and NAD is key. So that's why I take NMN. Okay, so this is a gentleman who works for UPS and walks, I think he said 3,600 steps a day, 36,000 steps a day, which is awesome. Um, and then uses his weekend to sort of rest and recover. He takes a lot of our supplements already. He wants to know, should he start the longevity? I would say yes, because by definition, none of us have enough NAD. And then we'll get into resveratrol and such whatnot. It sounds like you're taking care of yourself. So you probably are gonna have a good, long, nice life. So why not keep all your energy and repair the DNA while you can? Um, I'm taking it for those reasons. I don't exercise as much as you, it sounds like. I wish I did. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I would tell you, when you say you recover on the weekends, I would just make sure you try to keep the same schedule even on the weekends. So the people that like wake up early during the week and go to bed early just for work, and then they stay up really late and sleep in on the weekends, you are effectively putting yourself into a jet lag situation, which the body hates and nothing works right. So f myself, I don't change my schedule. So I wake up at five during the week. I try to wake up five, 5.30 on the weekend. Sometimes I'll push it to six, but I really don't try to sleep in because it's just, there's too much evidence that it's not good for you. So I would say whatever your weekend recovery thing is, try to keep your same schedule. Um, maybe incorporate a little bit of time restricted eating, um, you know, as long as you can do it and still maintain energy with your job, which you will be able to. And then, yeah, I would start the NMN because it's, it's gonna, you're just gonna feel better. It's gonna give you the, the currency that your body needs to get things done. All right, so we talked about the metabolism. So the, this shows you that NAD starts with tryptophan, which I'm pretty sure you can find like turkey, foods like that. And then it gets converted through a series of steps to nicotinamide, to NMN, to NAD+, <clears throat> okay, which is the, the element that when you add, when you um, reduce it, you'll get NADH, right? So the electrons either add on or pull off. So it just shuttles them around and that changes you from NAD to NADH. So NMN is a salvage pathway, which is shown in the block on the right. So the de novo means, you know, of new, so made from the building block of tryptophan, but you can salvage it, the body recycles it because we just need too much of it. It's used in every cellular process all the time. And there's just no way we would ever be able to eat enough food to get the NAD that we need to, to be alive and function. So the body has built in what's called a salvage pathway or a recycling pathway. So NMN drops it in at the top of that recycling pathway. Um, and that's just, and they just recently, a paper just recently came out showing an NMN receptor. So we know that it can be pulled into the cell and utilized. Um, and the question, there's still some ongoing research being done on, does it turn into nicotinamide alone or will it still go all the way through to NAD, depending on dosing or things like that. Nicotinamide you don't want, that does the opposite of NMN. So you wanna make sure you're just getting NMN to NAD. All that work's being done, but by and large, the animal studies are very clear, the preclinical studies, and a, a lot of the work being done on humans now is showing that, that this is the, probably the way to go. 
And then of course, NAD, not only does it shuttle electrons and act as a currency to get electrons from the Krebs cycle to the ATP cycle so that you can have bioenergetics, but it is actually a signaling molecule too. So as levels go up, so too do the sirtuin levels go up. And then the energy can be used for DNA repair, but you'll still have enough energy left over for other functionality. So it'll induce um, certain elements that cause all of this acetylation, the histones to work, and the DNA to repair. Very, very important. And you have to have enough energy to do it all. So if your sirtuins sense a lot of DNA damage, they're just gonna be spinning their wheels trying to clean that up. Meanwhile, other DNA is getting damaged and you're not making energy for the cell and you're not cleaning up the mitochondria. So you have to have enough NAD for the sirtuins to function and the bioenergetics of the cell to function. So that's why levels of NAD are so important.